Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, Bill, tell us what is MIFGA? Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, please remember to click on the subscribe button down there and hit that bell as well. Remember, I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. I'm set up out here at Lake Texoma, and this rig rolled in next to me yesterday that is just truly unique. And I've been fortunate enough to be offered the opportunity by Phil, the creator of the MIFGA, to give you guys a look at it. So, Phil, tell us, what is MIFGA? MIFGA is Mobile Fish and Game Attack Wagon, MFGAW. And what do you use the MIFGA for primarily? You said it's an attack Pri wagon. Attack so wagon, I don't know, you know, whatever, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> primarily we built it for, for, for camping on the beach and, you know, we like to do a lot of fishing down there in the surf and we go down to the National Seashore and get miles away from everybody and get out where there's nothing and so we like to have something all the comforts of home and being able to fish so basically you're boondocking on the boondocking. beach yeah, all right man you got it well show us your boondocking rig right on yeah so basically just kind of started at the front here we got toolbox in the front storage a little solar panel to keep the house battery charged and got the uh predator 3500 watt super quiet generator in there to keep everything powered up and is that gas it is a gas okay. generator yep. okay so the, the whole system runs on either 120 or 12 volt so some stuff is 120 a few things everything's 12 volt that we can but uh window ac stabbed it in the side or the front i would probably not do that again in the front but either way it works great catches a lot of Bugs going bugs. Down the road. If it rains, the, the moisture gets in there and tends to maybe want to go yeah. inside. So we've got a little wrap we can put around it. But uh, you know, for the most part, you can hang meat in there on the beach. I bet you can. Degrees, so it's it's nice. But uh, the other good thing about doing a window AC as opposed to a rooftop for us was if, in the event the AC goes down, you can pull in any Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere, and mm -hmm. for 200 bucks, grab another air conditioner, pull it out, stick a new one in. We're down the road. They're way so, more, way yeah, more, way cost more efficient effective. as opposed to trying to do a rooftop, you know, a grand and uh, installation and everything. So, anyways, inside some of the exterior power outlets, 120 on all four corners, just in case you ever need to plug anything in, do anything you want with it. Inside, real quick. You Lots of space. Look it around. <clears throat> Love that live edge. Live edge countertop. We ran a one water line up front, just cold water, just to brush your teeth. And, be that kind of thing. Well, how much, how much water do you carry with you, Phil? We got 35 gallons on board underneath the bed up here. Okay. So, uh, you know, just some extra little storage compartments, hang some clothes, little shelves. Portable toilet goes under there. Yep. It's unfortunate, but that bedroom has to be the bathroom as well. So. Well, you know, when you have, only have so much space. Medicine cabinet, whatnot. Kind of pan around. We stab yeah. the window in the side of it. Queen. This is a full bed. It's a full. Full bed with and a twin a, bunk on a top. Twin, a, a yep. Actual twin, not actual an RV twin. twin. Yep, no, actual twin. So, uh, yeah. fantastic fan. Fantastic fan. Yep, we're in those, good shape on that. Those are fantastic, and you've got yeah. a you got a little storage under there. I know you haven't finished that part yeah, yet, but yeah, a lot of stuff's not finished yet. We're gonna do drawers under there. Wall coverings are gonna happen. Paint the ceiling. Do a bunch of things with it. So. And but, uh, your profession is not in the trades uh no no well i'm cobbling this together over the course of a you know a year and a half two years so got, need time and money neither of which i have so time and money outside, outside, got, outdoor, outdoor shower outdoor shower pumped into the and inside has a water you gotta, you gotta have a broom when you're at the beach you man right. yep. and i see we got a bar i mean a kitchen <laughs> bar, bar kitchen <laughs> yep <laughs> So we have again. We're gonna inch the heat hot water. Yeah. So you can take a hot shower. Yep. Yeah. And that and plums out to the spigots outside. We can shower on either side outside. And two fridge. And you said you were gonna change that. Yeah, setup. I'm gonna change this setup out and then do a regular, you know, full freezer on top fridge in there. And what's yeah. the what's the total weight? Do you know? Uh, heavy. Heavy. <laughs> yeah. 
heavy enough to make my gas mileage not worth a darn. So, well, dude, that's that's the RV lifestyle yeah. right there. And so you still get the fresh water under the bank, under the bed. We can also hook up to the city water here and and do it in any RV park. And, and what do you carry on? You carry but again, work in progress. Work in but progress. We're gonna put this expanded metal on top and a ladder up the side so we can get up on top and. You can run long lines out for fishing in the surf okay. or just get up there and enjoy the sunset and have a cold beer. So, Just basically a, a, a rooftop patio. Rooftop patio. That's cool. Right. Yep. All right. So. And what was the name of it again? Mifga. Mifga. Mobile, mobile Fish and Game Attack Wagon. All right. So you, you have it. The Mifga. And there's a whole community of people building cargo these types of cargo RVs. So anyway. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Remember, click on that subscribe button. Y'all come back now, you hear?